So the quantum computer company Rigetti just completed an at the money offering and now they're sitting on a cash position of $575 million. The share price at the time of this recording is around $11. They haven't been very profitable and the CEO himself says that it's a year, two years, three years before they scale up for more commercial uses and they start building into revenue. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at Rigetti specifically, what they offer. We're going to look at the timeline that CEO has given in a recent interview, and we're going to look at the financials and the stock chart and just kind of see, is Rigetti a good buy in 2025? And is this at the money offering? putting them in a position of $575 million of cash, a great sign for Rigetti. Confidence. Um, there's also some companies that are saying quantum computing is here and now. I think that's a little bit of an overhype to our view and that is, seems consistent with some other companies like IBM and Google's views as well, is that we are in the three to five year range. In three years, you are going to start seeing commercial applications start, still not quite ready for the large volume, but in four to five years, certainly we expect the volumes to take off and quantum computing, quantum computers to be prevalent in data centers doing real life applications. So first, when we head over to Rigetti's website, we see that they're headline is think quantum welcome to the next generation of computing and they lay out their the pieces of the quantum computer that they're building so the dilution refrigerator the signal chain the temperature stages the mixing chamber and the qpu as we scroll down we can see that right now with their anka 3 they have a single qubit gate of 99.9% .9 and two qubit gates of 98.6%. They have partners like MIT, Lincoln Lab, NASA, Oxford Instruments, and so on. And they're distributed on Amazon Web Services via their bracket, Microsoft via Azure. They have Cloud, Rigetti. I checked out their careers page and I got a hand count and it looks like currently there's nine open positions for Rigetti. Since Rigetti is taking this gate model approach with their systems, they list out some industry use cases. So they're saying here, the true value of quantum computing will be unlocked through practical applications with new tools and new ways of thinking. Quantum computing will forever change the way we solve problems across industries. They will be able to aid drug discovery for undruggables. For example, neurodegenerative diseases. They'll be able to develop synthetic enzymes and catalysts for food and energy production, optimize returns and risks for large financial portfolios, train better AI with less computational overhead. And we know right now that computational overhead in AI data, data centers is not only expensive, but it's not even that good for the environment because it's taking so much energy for every request that goes into an AI data center. Reduce fuel costs by optimizing vehicle routing. So let's look a little bit at this. So let's look at this $350 million at the market equity offering, which they just completed on June 11th, so not too long ago. And this put them in a situation where they are now sitting on $575 million of cash. With this additional funding, Rigetti will have approximately $575 million of cash, cash equivalents, and available sale investments with no debt, and is well positioned to support commercial scale-up of its superconducting gate-based quantum computers. One thing that's interesting in this press release, and investors should definitely pay attention to, is Rigetti intends to use the proceeds for primarily for working capital and CapEx in general purposes, but they may also use a portion of the net proceeds to enter into strategic collaborations, acquisitions, or partnerships. And we saw that with the Quanta partnership, right, which is one of the most, most consequential partnerships for Getty to date. So this is a little bit older news, but this is back from February. And basically, Quanta, the same manufacturer, Taiwan-based global Fortune 500 company, 
that works with Apple and NVIDIA and was an early investor, Qantas agreed to purchase $35 million of shares from Rigetti and over the next five years continue to make purchases. So over the next five years, $250 million is my understanding. So very exciting partnership there. Now, could Rigetti also do some acquisitions of its own or some investments of its own? Will be very interesting to see how they use their cash position. So looking at Rigetti's current financial situation, we can see that Rigetti is currently not profitable in declining revenue at this point in time. And you look at that and you say, well, there's so many companies in the stock market that have revenue that's 100 times, 200 times this, and they're trading at a similar market cap or or less or, or, or more. And, and you're right to think that because quantum um, specifically and specifically Rigetti, we, we've heard from Dr. Kulkarni from the start of this year that Rigetti self-proclaims that they are an R&D company and they expect to be more commercially viable in two to three years. So the investor that's looking at Rigetti and investing in Rigetti in 2025 is has a more long-term mindset on where they're going to start seeing the, this revenue start to move in the other direction. Rigetti is also in a situation where they have more assets than liabilities. And this chart isn't really reflecting the huge cash position that they have at this point in time. Even before their ATM offering, they had three or four years of runway as a company. And now with this offering, Rigetti is in a solid financial position to keep working and building quantum computers in a scalable way for years to come. One last note that I would personally say about Rigetti is they're taking this unique approach to building the QPU and all the components. So they're building from the ground up in a modular way. And what that means is you can go, if you're a company that's building quantum computers, you can go and buy a Rigetti QPU and put it in your system. Or you could go buy a different controller piece or, or any piece and, and allowing what Rigetti has done is very strategically made their computer more open and their parts more open. And there's a company that did that and it goes by the name of NVIDIA and that company has built GPUs and now the whole world uses those GPUs. So If we're forward looking, if we're looking at the future of what Rigetti could possibly be in the quantum computing space, as the space commercializes and as more and more players come into the space, players that we don't even know, right? Like new companies or existing companies and they're buying Rigetti components. That sounds a lot like all of the biggest tech companies in the world buying NVIDIA GPUs today. So Rigetti is in a very unique position with the way they are approaching quantum computing and their scalable and modular architecture. So let's take a look at the stock price. So if you've been investing in Rigetti for the last year, you've seen a 1000% increase in your investment. Year to date, it's down 31%. Over the last six months, it's up 52%. And in the last month, it's been fairly flat. If we look at the chart, the chart really tells the story of where Rigetti is. And we can make some educated guesses about where it might be going. So prior to December of 2024, when Google announced Willow and lots of euphoria and FOMO and volume came into the trade, This was around December of 2024, and all of the quantum stocks in the market, the publicly traded companies, just saw this sort of parabolic pump. And then here at the top, where Rigetti was trading at about $20, $22 a share, it got sent down with this red candle when Jensen Huang said, quantum computing is 15 to 20 years away. Now, Jensen Huang himself is now talking about investing 
in companies like Sag Quantum and is saying commercial applications are much closer than than even he thought. So he's he's made an about face about that. The stock hasn't fully recovered still from those comments, even with Jensen's comments early on with if if uh, if I'm just giving my analysis of how I've seen this play out, basically Dr. Kulkarni, the CEO of Rigetti, had to do some investor expectation management, especially around here. He was saying investors should temper their expectations. We are an R and D company, and he reiterated that here. He's reiterated it multiple times. So even though we're seeing earnings that are missing, we're also seeing some buying and a little bit of an uptrend in Rigetti despite earnings. So it's a great thing that you have a CEO that's being honest about where the company is. And relative to where it's been, what does Rigetti look like now as a in long-term investment or a trade. So as a long-term investment, really what what is important to look at is before December of 2024, this stock was trading around one or two dollars a share and has a lot of price history there. It's only recently that quantum stocks have moved up into these higher multiples and the and become more expensive. So any quantum stock that you're considering as a an investment, you need to understand that there is potential downside risk if markets change or sentiments change or if any black swan event happens for a company. So for me personally, as a long-term investor in Rigetti, who's also interested in short-term price movements, I still see Rigetti as a really interesting long-term investment. Let's look at more of the monthly chart and see what's been happening. And really, we can kind of just see like there's been some sideways choppy action with one pump up to almost $15 and then sell off. If we look back at the last five days, We've been in a downtrend for Rigetti. And if we look at three months and we go back to April, where most stocks in the stock market were pretty washed out. So this would be April 7th to today. There's been about a 60% increase from when the stock was at its most washed out. So it was around $6 a share. And that was a, a nice buy opportunity for many stocks in the stock market. And honestly, many stocks have gone up even more than that from, from that point. What's important to look at with Rigetti and any stock really is volume. And we can see with the euphoria, we had a lot of volume. And now volume has kind of petered off. Earnings aren't that good. Revenue isn't that good, but the stock is still slowly walking up on this on this slope. So Rigetti, will it move back to $20? Will it move back to its and retest its all-time highs? Well, it's going to need probably some sort of catalyst. It's going to need something like a new partnership, or if they announce a new, let's say, Anka 4 system, or if they have some sort of breakthrough in their technology, then the stock could absolutely respond. For the time being, I'll give a couple quick cases on what I think might happen from this point. So we're looking at a three month chart and two hour candles. And you can see really that this stock really hasn't gone anywhere meaningfully in the three month span. In the past, I had drawn a rising sale port for Rigetti, especially when it bounced up into the 15. It had multiple touches on the rising support. So we're actually trading below this rising support. So from a technical point of view, we are we are in decreasing volume. We are trading below some of our moving averages. So we're trading below the rising support or trading below the 50 day, the 100 day, we're coming down, it looks like to potentially this 200 day. So from a purely technical 
point of view, Rigetti is trading under some averages, which would make it seem like it's a more risky entry point for Rigetti at this point in time. It is looking like if we just zoom out and look to the left, Rigetti is really, if, if we just want to simplify this, it's really traded between this 12th and 15 area. If we want to look at some more recent price, it does look like it's walking up, but it is also trading sideways recently. So this pattern could continue unless Rigetti has some new catalyst coming into the fold. So I think Rigetti is in a really solid position. I like Rigetti. I think it's one of the best pure plays in quantum computing. And I hope you found this analysis helpful and have a great day.